What's up guys, Juice Messi here and welcome to a brand new video. Today, we're looking at the worst ever players in FIFA Ultimate Team history. That's from FIFA 10 all the way up to FIFA 17. And you may actually recognize some of the players if you've bronze bench in the past, as I'm pretty sure a lot of us have done, guys. Before we get started, as always, if you can show your support by leaving a like rating, that'd be absolutely awesome. If you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button for daily FIFA content and the comments below. What category should I do next for a video at looking at previous FIFAs? Because the highest comment last time was, I think, underrated players. But I'm not fully sure if that meant players that their rating is very low compared to what it should be, or players that are very low rated, but are very good in game. So I am trying to work that one out before I do it. And finally, if you missed my previous video, it'll be down below in the description box. And I actually uploaded this type of video back in 2013. Like it's three and a half years ago now that I've done this video. And there's three FIFA since then. So it's like kind of an updated version. And you guys enjoyed it back then. So hopefully you enjoy it again this time. So starting off with FIFA 10, we've got a very cool card in there. A uh, very first one. And that is a 25 rated striker called a Barraclough. He played for Scunthorpe. And he's 25 rated, like I said, with 11 pace, dribbling, defending, heading, and passing for 88 shooting. And so right inside of him is his base card, his 36 rated player, which is a centre midfielder with 26 pace, 19 shot, 42 passing, 38 heading, 47 defending, and 35 dribbling. So I just don't know this story personally as to why he got the inform 25 card. It was obviously a troll, and it's kind of similar to what they'd done on FIFA 11 or 12. I can't remember what it was. Uh, with Wallison, the Brazilian striker, who was a fan favourite back then, and he actually scored a volley from Riri far out, and they matched how far that goal was out and gave him that rating with crazy good stats in game, so I'm assuming that's the same um, with Barraclough. Then we go on to 38 rated centre back, which is Schaub, who played, I don't know who, what team that is to be honest, but he's a Swiss centre back, 25 pace, 42 defending, and 40 heading. Next him is a player for Port Vale, a striker English, that is Glover, 58 pace, 34 shot. 41 dribbling and at 31 heading. So these cards, obviously, none of them will be good whatsoever. And the final one on this page is a guy called Horvitz who played it for Union Berlin, I think that is. And he's 40 rated CDM, 58 pace, 52 defending and 38 heading. There is also one more player from FIFA 10. That is going to be a Uruguayan CDM who played for, I'm going to take a guess and say that's Grasshoppers. I think that's what team that is anyway. He's a CDM, like I said, 40. And stats, out of a lot of them, probably the best one. And now we advance one more year to go to FIFA 11. And the first player is actually a rare card. That is Svensson, a 40 rated CDM. And he's Swedish. 31 pace, 32 shot, 31 passing, 28 dribbling, 44 defending and 46 heading. Next team is a Polish centre midfielder, 41 rated at Tominski. The team is called Polonia, though I personally never actually heard of it. 46 pace, 46 dribbling and 40 defending and 45 passing. Then we've got a goalkeeper for Swindon, I believe that is. There's a guy called Scott, 54 reflexes, 34 kicking, 36 diving. Have you guys ever used these types of players? I imagine not because 42 rated, why would you use them anyway? Although, you may have done like a challenge back then and actually recognize them. The right back is from Macclesfield, that is low, 58 pace, 45 defending and 54 heading. The final one on this page is a guy from Brentford, a 42 rated left back called Blake, 69 pace, 19 shot, 23 dribbling, 46 defending, and also heading. And the final player is a guy called Fernhow. I don't know if I said his name right, but on the end of that, it's actually O-U-G-H, so I don't know if that's correct or not. But he played for Barnsley, 42 rated, 54 pace, and dribbling, 38 defending, 31 shot, 40 passing, and 46 heading. And now onto FIFA 12. This is where I start recognizing some of the players, because I'm not gonna lie, back then at Bronze Bench, they had a lot as the online single matches, they were very, very fun. But the very first player, I actually recognize him as well, and that is Garrett playing for Crew. And they've actually got three players in the five worst on that game. So he was a lowest rated player by one rating on FIFA 12, being a 40. And uh, I wonder how that feels being on the game, but being the lowest possible rating, it's kind of crazy and uh, also kind of cool. Then we go on to the second player, and that is a Boim Sion. His name's not fully there, but he's a Korean right midfielder, 41 rated, 69 pace, 36 dribbling. Imagine running with him is absolutely horrendous. Then we go on to Min, another South Korean player, 31 pace, 43 dribbling, and 42 shot. I think it was FIFA 12 that I started using a South Korean silver team. But every single year, of course, they've been very, very good. But that year in particular, they had some very good silvers and bronzes. So I think then, um, maybe like Human Sun could have featured as well when he was playing in the Bundesliga. Then we go over to the right hand side, we've got Corral, a left winger who's English, also playing for Crew. 73 pace on him, which I believe um, so far is actually the quickest out of the lot. The final one is Turton, a right back again from Crew. 
65 pace, 50 defending and 40 heading. Now we go over to the next FIFA and that is FIFA 13. And in all honesty, I wasn't a massive fan of FIFA 13. I'm not sure what it was. I think it's because of the fact they removed online single matches and transition from FIFA 12 like El Shirawi, the re really overpowered silvers and bronzes and stuff. It was very difficult going from that to a full on sweat fest just playing online seasons. And the very first player is 40 rated, and that is Crother playing for Fleetwood. So he's got a picture and also some stats, but a thing about him, he was actually zero card weight. I'm not sure if that's a thing anymore, but it's a player that's on the database, but not actually in packs. And he had a picture, so well, somewhat surprising he wasn't inside the packs, and we don't know his position either. Also, one more player called Steve Book. He was also 40 rated, but zero card weight, so he wasn't on the proper database or in packs. Then we go over to Cooper, playing for Ross County, a brilliant club name right there. And he's a full trade centre midfielder, 67 pace, 42 dribbling, and 41 passing. Then we've got an Exeter City player, I've actually got two of them in a row. First up is Roper, a CDM, 43 pace, 34 dribbling, 40 defending, and 43 heading. And next to him is his teammate, which is Reed. I'm pretty sure. Um, did Nepenthes do a series around him back then? It may even be a year later, but I'm pretty certain Reed did feature in one of Nepenthes' series. I could well be wrong there, but it's a player that I somewhat remember. 58 pace, 37 dribbling, and 37 shooting. And the final player, on this page at least, and a guy called Muscle White, a goalkeeper, who's 43 rated. He played for York City, and to be honest, looks absolutely awful. Then we go to the next page, and we've got four more players. First up, a guy called Gerard playing for Oldham. 29 diving on him with 28 reflexes, so pretty much not going to save a single thing. Then we move on to power. I think it might be max power. And he's 43 rated again, 60 pace. Then we go over to hand, 43 rated right back, 51 pace, 27 dribbling, 44 defending, and 59 heading. The final player from FIFA 13 is a Danish player called Colert at Cam. And now on to FIFA 14. And this is actually as far as I got in the video I uploaded three years ago. So after this point, it's brand new players for this type of video. So first up was a guy called Wu, a centre midfielder playing in the K-League with 45 pace and 35 dribbling. Then we've got Al Rawali playing in the Saudi Pro League. Now I think that may be the second year the Saudi Pro League was ever on um, FIFA Ultimate Team at 44 rated for him. Then we've got McGee who plays at four. Is that Morecambe I think? Um, 73 pace, 43 dribbling and 42 defending and 45 rated. Then we've got a Sheffield United goalkeeper called Willis 55 diving, 47 reflexes. So it's getting a little bit better. The highest rated players are um, actually like 45 now compared to 40s before. And the final one is a guy called Sisto. He's actually recognisable now um, in real life football. His club back then was FC Midland. I think he also got an informal FIFA 14, so like a 64. But now he's playing in Spain for Celta Vigo. And he actually transferred for around £5 million last summer. Then we go over to FIFA 14, page two. First up is a guy called Nasser, who played in the Saudi Pro League, 57 pace, 47 dribbling. And the final one is a Danish centre midfielder called Beck. And looking at some of these cards makes me realize how much the card designs have improved uh, since FIFA 14 and whatnot. Now we go over to FIFA 15. First up, a guy called Tisdale. He featured on my bench quite a bit. A, I think it's actually a player manager at the time, because he's very, very old, playing for Exeter. And I believe it's from Malta, 38 pace, 36 shooting. 44 dribbling and 33 physical. Then we go over to Zemlo, a 40 rated left midfielder. I believe the year after that was in fact a centre back. And then a 42 rated Austrian centre midfielder by the name of Myra is up next. 46 pace and 45 dribbling on him. Then we've got a goalkeeper which you can probably keep an eye on now for the next couple of FIFAs because I think he does feature for like three in a row. As Richardson who plays for Wickham and he's 43 rated, 35 diving and 31 reflexes. And finally, we've got a CDM from Saudi Arabia and the Saudi Pro League called Al Rawal, 43 rated, 64 pace, 54 dribbling and 50 passing. Then we move on to last year's FIFA Ultimate Team, FIFA 16. And first up, we've got O'Kelly playing for Newport, 44 rated right wing back. And I believe there's a lot of 44 rated players in this game. I just checked about Tisdale, by the way, from FIFA 15. He retired back in 2011, so definitely was a player manager at one point, and for some reason was in that game anyway. But now back onto FIFA 16, second player is a centre midfielder called Clifton, playing for Northampton, and 64 pace, 44 defending, 46 physical, 49 passing, and 48 dribbling. Then we go over to a Swindon player called Marshall, 44 rated again, with 65 pace. Next up is another Northampton player, this time a left back, called at Warburton, 58 pace, and some very bang average stats on the right hand side. And the Richardson features yet again, full Wickham, 44 rated, a bit of an improvement from the previous year. He went from 21 kicking to 36 in just one year, so a shout out to Richardson there. And now we've gone to page two from FIFA 16. Two Newport players are called Shepard and also Redmond. And finally we've got a Cambridge United player called Horn. 
and there wasn't actually a winner for FIFA 16's worst or lowest rated player because they're all 44 rated. Now we go on to FIFA 17, it's a pretty similar theme because I think every single one of these players for three pages is 45 rated. So the very first player is Ramsbottom, an English goalkeeper. And I think all but two of the players from FIFA 17 are English. So he's a goalkeeper with some very, very bad stats. All 40 club for him. Then we go over to Atkinson, who plays for Luton Town, 45 rated, 53 pace, 41 dribbling, 41 shot, and 40 passing. Then we've got Venny playing for, I think that might be Grimsby. I could be completely wrong, but the color scheme, I think that's Grimsby Town. They may not even be in the game this year. That's what I'm going to stick with. So 68 pace, 41 dribbling, and 34 shot. Actually got higher defending than shooting, which is strange. Then we have got Clifton also playing at four, uh, quotations, Grimsby, 66 pace, 34 shot, and 39 defending. The exact same shooting and defending, in fact, as Venny. Then we have got a player from Bradford, and that is Divine Devin. 70 pace for him, 48 dribbling, looks god awful. Page number two for FIFA 17, we got a goalkeeper called Kelly, playing in the Irish League, has got 46 diving, 43 reflexes. Next to him is the big man Richardson, featuring yet again for a third consecutive year, being the worst rated players. So, uh, must be a very good goalkeeper in real life. 45 rated for him, 37 diving, 33 reflexes, and 37 kicking. Then we've got Sargent playing for Leighton Orient as a goalkeeper, 45 rated again. Then we've got Lovett playing for Cheltenham, who's a 45 rated keeper. And I think, yeah, every single one of these players has been 45 rated. The final one on this page is also in the Irish League, and that is McGoy, a 45 rated goalkeeper with a 39 diving. Now we'll go on to the final page, one player in his own, also playing for Grimsby, I just checked, is the right team, and that is right, a right winger. And here's the final player for this video. So FIFA 17 has got a lot of very low rated players. In fact, I think they've probably worked out a little bit better now. They've got a lot more people like judging ratings. So I'm assuming back on FIFA 10, it wasn't really that accurate. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. So as always, if you enjoyed it, show support by leaving a like rating. That'd be absolutely awesome. If you need to my channel, click the subscribe button for daily FIFA content and the comments below. What category should I do for my next video again? Underrated players has probably been worked on, trying to work out what way it really means. And finally, if missed my previous video, it was down below in the description box. So thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.